Ana, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now, so yes. Um, we start with the following. This is your predi predicate logic. Um, we discussed also topic last meeting, okay? But I'm just going to give an emphasis. You have a predicate logic is an expression. Predicate is an expression of one more variables, one or more variables defined in some specific domain. So a predicate with variables can be made a proposition by either assigning a value to the variable or by quantifying the variable. For example, we have, uh, if you remember, I ginamit ko na letter before was P, di ba? I can use other letters. So E, X, Y denote X equal to Y. Or you can have P, X, Y denote X equal to Y. You can have let X be equal to, uh, let X be, you have open parenthesis A comma B comma C. Close parentheses denote a plus b plus c equal to zero, or you can also have that m x y denote x is married to y. So in the sentence, the girl is laughing. The girl denotes your subject. So this is your subject, the girl. So you can have other subject, whether the baby is laughing or whether the woman is laughing, the man is laughing. Okay, denote the object and. Uh, the object or the entity that the sentence is about. So, the notes, the subject. The phrase is laughing is what you call your predicate. So, a property that is true of the subject. So, if predi in predicate logic, a predicate is modeled as a function P of X. So, from objects to propositions. You have P of X equals X is laughing. So that's why I said earlier, na pwede palitan itong subject ni dito. The girl is laughing. Pwede, y. Pag, pag sinabi mo y, p of y, then ang y mo is say, the lady. So the lady is laughing. Okay? So x is laughing or x is any object. Predicate logic generalizes the gra grammatical notion of a predicate to also include propositional functions of any number of arguments, each of which may take any gram grammatical role that, that a noun can take. So what do we mean by this? For example, we have let P, X, Y, Z be X gave Y the grade Z. So if we, we make a a value for x, say, or a subject for x, say, teacher Kathy, and then your y, say, is Mary, and then your z is 1.0, then we will have the following. Teacher Kathy, y equals Mary, z equal to 1.0, would mean pxyz is teacher Kathy gave Mary the grade 1.0. So meaning to say, itong x, y, z, you can actually replace your x there. It is a variable by, say, Professor Merka, y, say, art, z, gave 1.0. Then, pxy is Professor Merka gave art the grade 1.0. Okay? So, meaning to say, you can actually rewrite your x, y, z, depending on ano, because they are variables. But when you say quantifiers, it provides a notation that allows us to quantify or to count how many objects in the universe. When you say universe of this course, you are familiar with universal set, right? So universe of this course satisfy a given predicate. So for all, this is what we discussed last time, is your universal quantifier. And... For all x, p of x means for all x in the universe of this course, p holds. So the exist is what you call your existential quantifier. So we inverted e, and for all is inverted a. Then there exists, p of x means there exists an x in the universe of this course that is one or more such that p of x is true. So pag existence lang, ito, pag for all, para sa lahat lahat yan. Let's take an example for universal quantifier. 
Let the universe of this course X be classrooms at CSM. So when we say, let P of X be the predicate, X is occupied. So ang X natin, di ba, classrooms? So pag i-translate natin yan, big sabihin yan, and you have for all, universal kasi. The universal quantifier or quantification of P of X would now be for all X, P of X. Ang proposition, pag isulat natin in words, that would mean, kasi for all, di ba? All classrooms at CSM are, di ba? Ang ano natin is occupied. So, occupied. Pwede rin sabihin, it's the same thing as every classroom at CSM is occupied. Or another word would be, for each classroom, so this is another phrase, for each classroom at CSM, that classroom is occupied. So that is what you call your universal quantifier. As for the existential quantifier, existence, diba? So let the universe of this course of X be classrooms of CS at CSM. So pareha lang muna gamitin natin. So, let P of X be the predicate X is occupied. So, pag existence lang, then you will have there exists. There exists P of X. So, what is the proposition now? Some, kaya meron lang man, there exists lang. So, some classrooms at CSM are occupied. There is a classroom at CSM that is occupied. Or, you can have at least one classroom at CSM is occupied. So, yun yung difference in your universal and your existential quantifier. Now, if you remember, I also uh, mentioned in passing about your open sentences. An open sentence is a declarative sentence containing a variable which becomes a statement when the variable is specified. So, sometimes in other texts, you will, you will see this notation. Instead na yung P of X, Yung ganito, yung ganitong P of X, sulat ko ng P, ngayon yung sulat, pen, champion. Yun yun, yung P of X natin. Sometimes we make use of P of, P sub X, no? small letter. So pareho lang yan. Other text kasi use this, P of X, Q, that's P sub X, Q sub X, or R sub X. Example. X is greater than 5. So, open semi sentence. Bakit? It is not, it's neither true nor false at this point because you don't know what X is. So, Y is less than negative 9. X squared plus 2 is divisible by 2. Z is a multiple of 3. So, the truth set of an open sentence is the set of elements set whose subject to the variable converts the sentence into a true statement. Meaning to say, Ito siya, pwede yan siyang maging true for all values or all real numbers greater than 5. Otherwise, it will be false. So, you need to truth set niya. No? So, also, y is less than negative 9 will be true if you have values less than negative 9. Okay? Otherwise, this will not be true. For example, negative 10. It, it, this will make it True. Similarly, ending x squared plus 2 is divisible by 2 will only be true if this one, your x squared, is even. And your z is a multiple of 3 will be true. 3k where k is supposed to be a real number. So, meron siyang tawag doon is your truth set. Okay? Truth set of an open sentence. Now, again, this is just a the notation for p of x. Yung definition niya ulit, nandito naman. For every element of x, p of x is true. Yan ang ibig sabihin. The quantified statement is true if p is equal to u because it's a universal quantifier. As for the existential quantifier, existence lang. No? So, exist x element of u. So, this is the other notation, p sub x. An open sentence, p sub x, does not have a truth value. No? Kasi, oh, di ba kanina yung y less than, yung kanina, y 
less than negative 9. It does not have a choice value kasi hindi natin alam kung ano yung y. But it will have an open segment P of x with a quantifier is a, a statement already and has a truth value. The negation of an open statement with a quantifier is given as follows. This is very important kasi if you take a look, may, itong medyo nalilimutan ko minsan, no? When you rewrite the negation of for all, this is for all, ibig sabihin, ba? For all x, p of x, ibig sabihin, pag negate yan, there exists x wherein not p of x. Yan ang ibig sabihin. Kasi, you, that, that, diba, originally for all, inigate mo yun, ibig sabihin, may isa, at least isa, na not true. Not of the exist x p of x. So, when you negate the existence, it becomes for all x, not p of x. We'll have some examples with that one later on. First, let us try to give the negation of the statements below. Not all Filipinos are friendly. How do we negate not all Filipinos are friendly? Anyone? All Filipinos are friendly. Okay. All Filipinos are friendly. Friendly. Diba? Pa-inigate mo ninyo ang not all. So, pag inigate siya, may mo siyang all Filipinos are friendly. Yes, friendly. How about you negate all Filipinos are friendly? So, may negation niya. Not all Filipinos are friendly. Yes, not all Filipinos are friendly. Yan. With, can you restate? What is a restatement of not all Filipinos are friendly? Some Filipinos. Okay. Some Filipinos are bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, uh, it is not true that all Filipinos are friendly. Diba? Not all will now. Restatement ni kong ating negation, ha? Then, not another restatement. It is false that all Filipinos are friendly. And the other one is kanina may answer Diba? Remember that the negation of an open statement not for all x, p of x equals to exist x, not p of x. So, if you have not for all x, kunyari ang ano natin is, di ba, original natin is, all Filipinos are friendly. When you try to rewrite this, the negation of that is, you negate the not all Filipinos are friendly. So, what is the negation? There exists x, not p of x. There and maybe so then there exists x not p of x. Some Filipinos are not friendly. Are not friendly. So yan ang negation ng not ng for all x p of x. So ito, ito. Making use of this open thing. So it's the same. Okay? So yeah. Let's take another one. It restate the following negation. Not all Filipinos are friendly. And our statement niya. So, not P of X equals 36X not P of X. Diba? And yung kanina. Some Filipinos are not friendly. It is not true that some Ilocanos are immortal. Paano yan siya? Anong original niyan? Ito man ang some Ilocanos are Immortal. Tapos, it is not true. Ito yung not. So, pag i-restate natin yan for all x, not p of x. So, we need to say you will now have all Ilocanos, di ba, for all x, are, di ba, immortal man dati. All Ilocanos are immortal. 